What's going on everybody? It's your boy Destroy coming at you with the long overdue for me video on how to scout in MLB 2020 franchise. Uh, basically it's it's a repeat. Uh, that's all I'm going to put out there. Uh, so if you've been on my channel for the last couple years, um, I have released the um, my way of scouting. Um, it might not be the most efficient way. Uh, there might be a better way out there. Uh, but for me, it's the only way I've, I've done it, uh, and it's worked and they really don't change a lot. Uh, so first thing, like always, uh, go to the scouts and go and get the best scouts possible. Um, if you want to go for your, uh, the design region, um, you can, but in the instance that we're at right now, there's no central scout worth taking. Um, so we're just going to sub them out. Um, each franchise is different. Each year is different. Um, there's times to where you get a scout that is phenomenal. Um, that's around 3 million a year. Sometimes you won't get one for five years. Uh, it's just how it happens. Uh, so basically, um, just like always. So I always start off at pitching you can go through the whole throwing right left the skill to me it doesn't make a difference um i just keep it the way it is um and just let my scouts do their thing uh so this one we're gonna switch to central so in these instances all i'm gonna do is just put one of them and switch them um so yeah so i have them scouting uh always it always is the way MLB is. I hope they can fix it soon. It would make it much more enjoyable in the long run for the draft. But the first season is the most important season because that's where you're going to have a lot of prospects. The next couple of years, uh, th this game more than other has gotten better at it, um, but it's still the same in my opinion. Um, I'm not getting a lot of prospects after year one. Uh, it just goes downhill from there. Uh, once you hit the third round, you really don't get anybody worth taking. You might get a a guy in there, but more than likely you're not. Um, so pitchers, I would typically do a little under two weeks. Uh, so for this one, we're going to do 10 days. Uh, and so that's how we do it. We go back to scouting, uh, and you could see a bunch of pitchers that are there a lot of people uh, so after pitchers we're gonna go uh, and we're gonna switch everybody to catcher uh, now typically if you've been playing franchise you already know this if you're new to franchise or you never really paid attention to it whenever you scout catchers it's the least amount of time you have to spend scouting a position uh, especially if you're the West Scout the West Scout does not get any players ever um, first season like I said will always get but after that the West Scout is basically useless um, so for year one we're gonna send four days uh, now as you can see the West Scout already got everybody that was there so we're gonna switch everybody to infield uh, and then same thing. It, it's basically how comfortable you are with getting as much prospects. Like I said, year one, you have to take advantage of how many good prospects are out there and spend more time uh, trying to scout the guys that you have than trying to find everybody because you're only going to miss a couple guys. And even then, it's a long shot if they're going to be the AD potential. So for infield, I'm going to do eight. And then we're going to go back. We're going to go to scouting. You can see. Uh, now something that everyone always gets confused. And I have to explain it every year. I don't mind doing it. Whenever you see the blue symbol on the left. That means it's a blue chip scout. Or a blue chip prospect. Uh, it doesn't always mean. It doesn't always mean that. Um, they're something you have to draft. It just means they're fully scouted, and more times than none, yes, it means that they're worth drafting. If you ever see the little target, that means it's someone that you just scouted. Um, 
So I hope that helps because I haven't explained it in the last couple of years of doing this video, but I'm going to do it for this video. All right, same thing, guys. Uh, we're going to go eight days. Okay, so we did eight days, and now we have 37 days till draft day. Now, how I see that is I typically do three days per player. Um so you go for whatever needs you have. So I just started this up really quick. I'm the Cubs. Um, so what I know I need is pitching. So we're going to go for pitchers. And we're just going to line them up with their scout. So we're going to get the West here. International here. Uh, East here. And then we could put the International for him. Uh, now the other thing that you guys want to look out for is ages. Sometimes you're going to see prospects in here that are 24 25 years old and guess what you don't really need them uh, they're not worth drafting in my opinion uh, because their potential can only go up so much higher from where they are right now um, does that necessarily mean to ignore them no like uh, in the later years you will find out that there's not a lot of prospects and there'll be older prospects so for this situation I already know uh, because I'm the Cubs I don't need a catcher. I don't need a first baseman. Uh, might need a second, depending where you put Javi. Don't need a third baseman, and maybe can use some outfielder. But I need pitching. So I'm just going to spend each time scouting pitchers for three days. So what I mean, from the day you are, uh, the day you're at, send that day, and the two days after. Three days. So you go back, you go to currently scouted, and you're going to get a good a good guess of what they're going to be. Uh, now, the more uh, higher up your scouts are, when you scout them for three days, um, they're going to be more accurate of where they're at. But this is as good as you're going to get for three days without over-scouting and making sure you can get to enough players. Um, that's basically it, guys. Uh, I don't believe there's anything else that I'm missing. If there is, if anyone has any more questions, feel free to comment. I respond to everybody. Um, and I hope this video helps you guys. Like I said, it's not a whole lot different from the last couple years. So hope this helped and hope you guys have a great day. Thank you all for watching.